Hi Lord, okay na. Accountability. Okay. Hindi na accountability. Kasi, di ba? Kasi sila sabi, eh paano kung hindi okay lang pala na na pwede ko patayin kung sinong galit na galit ako tapos basta bago ako matay, galit na.
Therefore, the manner of how I forgive the other is I hold cause the manner that you forgive us. Ibig sabihin, we've got to forgive each one if we want God to forgive us. Though, of course, God always forgive us. Kaya lang, bakay ko lang ay, o kaya pinatawag ka ng Diyos, pero ikaw. Our end of the party, we don't fight for it. Alright, so, the Lord Father tells us, in life of it. Okay. The Bible says that if we have received Christ, we have eternal life. Yeah. Would those people who have received Him but lost, lost hope and through Christ away from His life still have eternal life? Uh, God still promised them eternal life. Okay? That is why, remember, remember what we do as Christians. There are many people who lose hope. It is true. In fact, what do we, what do present generation call this, this life? It's, we have now a culture of death. Remember? Pag nawawalan ka ng hope, nawawalan ka ng nawawalan ka ng buhay, pag wala ka ng pag-asa, wala ka rin paniniwala. Para crisis natin ang more that's important. Kasi wala, wala rin. Nangyayari yan. It's a, it, to me, it's both a challenge. And that is why it is our duty to develop again this culture of hope. Okay? Because Christ also promised for effort to them. Ibig sabihin, sa question na yan, kasama dyan ang responsibility natin. They are all Christ. Para kang may kapatid, may kapatid na medyo nagiging suwain, ay hindi mo lang siya pakawayaan, di ba? Kasi he also deserves a better future. However, you have to do your part. Okay, gets you ba? You have to do your part. I will, I will let me illustrate that because I think it is important for all of you. Um, I know you're all students and you're young. And I also know that many of you do not have money also. Okay. But does that mean that you cannot give hope to people? I tell you one thing where you can give hope. Um, I've always been talking to a lot of students and we have a high incidence of suicide. Okay? Suicide is, is the, the act of suicide is precisely losing hope. Diba? And a large part of these people who want to commit suicide because they don't have anyone to talk to. And sometimes, like in the dormitory, sometimes it is our fault. You know why? Because we would rather be with people who are not weird. We would rather be with our friends. I don't think I'll stop it. You're gonna tell me weird, weird. <laughs> but there are times that again, you just have to sit down and listen. Because sometimes they just need people to talk. To. And by doing that, you give hope. In other words, friendship is a manner of giving hope. Remember, hope is based on a who, not a what. Kaya ang solusyon ng pagiging walang pag-asa ay, ay naku, wala na akong future father kasi bobo ako o whatever. Ang solusyon ka, wala, kinig ka lang sa kanya. Oo. So I would rather challenge the person who would ask that question than be a person of hope. The second is that in an academic public institution, okay, sir? I'm assigning two institutions. I've always been in school. Okay. The, the thing is, we people in, in an academic institution has this culture of uh, competition. Okay? A culture of uh, to compete. Always to compete and compete. And there are many people who are left behind. For example, o oh, ikaw magaling sa math, eh paano yung friend mo na medyo math challenge? <laughs> then, tulad ko, ako yung math challenge niya. Then, in order for me to be able of, to be a person of hope, is to go and, no friend, gusto mong tuluan kita. Ganun lang, simple lang talaga. Another is this, because we are always in a competitive world, 